poppin' fools. It's your boy Mark, the Shark, back with some more Borrow You Squad Road to Glory. And today, episode 65. Uh, we had a very good episode in the last one. Episode 64 uh, fought well against two of the top teams in England and in Europe, being Liverpool and United. Unfortunately, couldn't come out with dubs there. But today we get to relax. No more playing the teams at the top because it's the second half of the season starting now here today against Wolves. We start with Wolves. We have Leeds United in the middle of the week. And we start the FA Cup run on the weekend against Swansea City. So last day of December, basically, 2024. Let's get straight into this one against Wolves. Come on, boys. Lots of rotation going to this one, heading to Molyneux as we take on Wolves shortly after that Man United game. So the ones are absolutely knackered, except for Michael Speak for some reason. he's He's got a bit of energy. So he starts today, and the starting 11 is as follows. Kavanaugh, Gauthier, Sutton up front, Yardin, Ramos, Rogers, and Fraser in the middle. Konadu, Speak, Gavin, Herman, and... Gavin Scott starts between the sticks for his second start in the Premier League. He is getting ready to leave once the transfer windows opens. A lot of the a lot of players are getting ready to leave in the transfer window opens, so we're gonna give them some last minutes with the club before they head on out, either on loan or permanently. So here we go though. Mala News Stadium, 5 p.m. kickoff. Wolves and Barrow. Let's get it, boys. <laughs> Here we go then, boys. Borrow and Wolves from Molyneux, the East Midlands. It's a rainy night. Let's take care of business here, boys. Come on now. Ball is in. Sutton does enough defensively. Keep that ball away from the net. The Wolves player won that header, but Sutton, you know, deflected over the top. Ball is in. Konadu does well. And the clearance hits Ryan Gavin. The refs called the penalty on it. Ay, ay, ay. It's unintentional. Why is it being called, ref? It's unintentional. Why is it being called? Pedro Neto versus Gavin Scott. Right down the middle. Expected the teenager to dive. And Neto left it straight down the pipes. And it's 1-0 for Wolves. Still Sam Gauthier trying to get through. Mail does well. Come across and there's five in the back. It's kind of annoying when they're all sitting back playing strong defense. Rafa Mersh threw off of the Gavin touch. Mersh slips it under Gavin Scott and it's 2 0 to Wolves now. Gavin Scott's heavy touch. Allowed the Wolves striker to pounce and take his leave straight through the line. And that takes us to the break. 2-0 down. And just can't get anything going forward right now with the way that that play is going from Wolves in the back. They're just too, too composed, too compact back there, and we're struggling to break it down. Hopefully here in this second half we can figure it out. Get things done. Oh, Kudus gives it away. Freiser going for Gauthier. On the right foot. Sarkic with a good save in the one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Gauthier's got to put that one home if he wants to be the starter. Goes for Rogers. Goes forward, Elliot. Ezra Elliott's through and goes near post for Sarkic. And Rogers can't follow it up and finish. Took it one, took it on the one, and just couldn't find that top post. Or the top corner, I mean. Does well there, Fraser. Can't keep the ball, though. Neto. They're going to get down the line, Richards. They're going to play a ball across, and Fraser ducked out of the way. Or Speak ducked out of the way, and it's 3 0 for Wolves. Just about does it here then. How annoying. Stick your leg out, son. Just stick your leg out. 
Neto in the corner. Brian Gavin giving chase. Caduce. Vieira. Back to Caduce. Gavin Scott does well there to get down and make the last minute save. It's a 3 0 defeat to Wolves. The twos just battered. Absolutely battered. Had no. Nothing going for them at all. So. It happens. I mean, that just shows the difference in quality from our twos to their ones. So, unlucky, unfortunate. Can't do much about it, though. Let's get to the next one. Well, game number two of the episode. Happy New Year, everyone. It's January 1st of 2025, and Hulker Street is the venue for tonight's game as Barrow take on Leeds. Leads come up north to cause some commotion. And for us, well, we need to bounce back after a rough game against Wolves just not too long ago. So, going to be looking for a big performance out of the ones. Oddly, Aro Briam up front. Moeller, Groves, Kevin on the middle. Silva, Speaks, Sika Jorgensen, Tunye, and Phoenix up front. <sighs> this one's a big one. We need the points here. Let's get back right. Let's start the new year off strong. Come on, boys. New Year's Day, Hulker Street, and more Barrow football. Come on, boys. Let's get the three points here. Oh, nice pass, Kevin. Aro. Oh, Vino running through. Forges his way straight through the defense by himself, and Fredinha is forced into an early save. Briam. Down the line for Groves. Back inside, Ashbourn. Hey, that's Vino Aro just standing there all by himself, and that's a finish. Ashbourne Briam into Vino Aro, and it's a goal for the Barrow boys. Nine minutes into this one, just not, didn't mark up. Leeds didn't mark up at all, and Vino Aro is going to take full advantage of that. Come on, boys. Leeds playing very patient to try and build up into this one. Castrovilli back to Andone and Phoenix does well. Stayed focused and makes the save. And goes down the line. Briam on the charge. Ashbourne Briam on the counterattack. Goes over the top for... Oh, Comer with a good save. Or block, really, on the RO volley. Again, we have to play smarter out of the back, boys. Good save, guy. Michael, get across. Get across, Michael. Help your keeper out. Uh, mistakes at the back. Back to back, boys. And leads are back in to this one with an equalizer. Kavanaugh for Moeller. Goes for Silva, who fires down the line for Oddly. Now we can show some pace. Riyad Adli. Oh, all day. All by himself. Riyad Adli! Right before the break. And it's 2-1 to the Barrow boys. Riyad Adli picks it up. Takes a touch inside. And no Leeds player wanted any part of stopping him. Long gone. And with the right foot, puts it home. Blue whistle now, ref. Thank you. That takes us to the break. 2-1 up over Leeds. Need to be... Need to be more composed in the back. M needs to be composed in the back. It's just not looked good in the back at all. From the back line, they're very, very costly mistakes, and we can't keep doing this. But second half, let's take care of business. Oh, that's a nice little header through. Gregor Muller, long gone. Ailing trying to give chase. Gregor Muller with the left foot. It's a good goal from the boys. Talk about route one football. Back to the keeper. Smash it forward for the striker. Flick on. Midfielder's gone. And it's a good finish from Gregor Muller at that with his left foot. Now we go out wide. Oddly. Beautiful touch to bring it down, my son. Muller. Goes forward. Vinoaro all day. And it's four. 
all day to compose himself there, Vino, and he's done exactly that. Stayed composed, stayed calm, and put her home to make it four and wrap this one up. Sigurd Johansson clearing away. Kirk Muller kind of up here all by himself, but nothing the German can't handle as he takes off running. Castrovilli giving chase. On his last legs, Gregor Muller, he's got a second for himself and a fifth on the day for Varro. <laughs> Just takes off, hopes for the best, and puts it home. Beautiful stuff for the boy. Got charging forward. Leeds United, Michael Speak doing well there. So goes Davies. How has he missed that? Davis for Leeds United had the perfect opportunity to get one back for him. Even if it's just a consolation. Still one back. And he's put it wide. And there's the final whistle. A 5-1 thrashing of Leeds United for the boys in black and yellow. Or, or in blue today. Not in black and yellow. Sorry, got used to it. A wonderful performance from the boys after that first half of just looking like not composed. Not confident. No confidence. But second half, found all the confidence, all the space. And we take care of business here. Love to see it. Let's get to the next one, boys. Well, this is a big one. Juventus have come in for Brian Gavin. It's understandable based on his form. But we're going to reject this offer. Not a chance, mate. Not a chance. Well, a bit of heavy rotation here as we welcome Swansea City to Holker Street for an FA Cup third round matchup. And we see a couple of familiar faces playing against us. Norgard starting up front probably for Swansea and James Hickey starting in the back. Line of defense for Swansea City. And for us, well, a mix of the ones and the twos and all the good Things like that. Hold on. I'm going to have to switch that captain's armband off of Briam. Give it to Sigurd Jordanson. But starting 11 is as follows. Kavanaugh, Aro, Briam up front. Rogers, Yardin, Ramos, Fraser in the middle. Konadu, Speak, Sigurd Jordanson, Herman, and Phoenix between the sticks. Let's get straight into this one, boys. Let's go get on to the next round and get a little cup run going. <laughs> Holker Street's the venue. Borrow and Swansea City in the FA Cup third round. Let's take care of business, boys. Kavanaugh cutting inside on his right foot. Looks through for Vinyl Aro. Surely he's onside. And it's a first goal for the Borrow boys. Six minutes in. We break the Swansea line early. And it's a good time whenever Vinyl Aro gets a goal. Come on, boys. Fraser goes for Aro. Taylor Rogers keeps it and gets past Perry. He's through on goal and he's hit the post. Stay with it, Taylor. Yes, my son. He's still on it. Taylor Rogers inside. Vinyl Aro trying to turn on Hickey and couldn't get around him. Ball forward. Konadu takes care of business. Beautifully done, my son. Herman, get it under control before you clear, my son. Byers. Asoto. Back for Byers. He likes to go backwards. Fulton. Forward. Nikolai Norgard cuts inside. He's on his left foot. Oh, we know this kid loves the competition. Loves this FA Cup. This is Norgard's comp. Nikolai scoring against his former club, or current club, his parent club. He's on loan. He's not even supposed to be playing. But Nikolai Norgard on the score sheet for Swansea. Turned Konadu every which way to Sunday. Sent him for a dog and puts it past Phoenix. Just like he does in training every once in a while. 1-1 one, one here now. Got to be more composed in the back. Take care of business there. That takes us to the break. One's on the board. It's a lot tighter than what I was expecting, that's for sure. Didn't think this Swansea team was going to come out and start swinging back after we hit him in the mouth early, but Nikolai Norgard keeping him in the game. 
And let's see where the second half takes us. Come on, boys. Kavanaugh charging forward, trying to get it through to Sutton, who was running down the line. And we'll have a replay. A 1-1 draw between Swansea and Barrow. Surely will happen next week and in the next episode. So poor from the boys today, though. So lackluster. We should be dominating this team, and we we score early and then just thought that that was enough. It's it's not. We have to do more. Have to do more every single time. But it happens. Oh, well. Let's get to the next game. Oh, last game of the episode. Back at Holker Street, taking on Crystal Palace. A team that we drew with earlier on in this season. I look to get the better of them this time around. Not been the greatest episode for us. A loss, a win, and a draw now. But we have to forget all that. Back in the Premier League, Holker Street. Adley, Aro, Briam up front. Moeller, Groves, Kevin on the middle. Silva, Speaks, to Jones, and Tonye, and Phoenix in between the six. We need this one, and we need this one bad, boys. Come on now. Very rainy day today in Navarro. Three points on the table, boys. Let's go take care of business. Barrow and Crystal Palace. Come on, boys. 3M. That's Vinoaro all by himself in the middle. Moeller down the line, Adley. Oh, that's Silva. That isn't Adley. That's Juan Silva, and he's found Aro for the opener. On the volley. Vino Aro, 11 minutes in. Beautiful, beautiful play from the boys. Juan Silva finds himself in some very good space. Thought that was Riyad. Ball in. Ellis beats Priam at the near post, and Phoenix doesn't do a simple save. And it's one all. Crystal Palace getting the equalizer on that corner. Aro, a good carry. Goes inside. Charles Groves on the left foot. Near post. Beats Guaita. And on his left foot, Charles is always going to get a sweet strike. Beautiful stuff from Charles. And it's 2-1 to the Barrow boys. Ejadia down the line for Crystal Palace right before the half. Is there one last opportunity for the Eagles? Feigl forward. Morelos. Good save, Phoenix. And Gergen Muller clears, and that'll take us to the break. 2-1 up against Crystal Palace. Couldn't stay composed in the back there at the end. Very nearly gave away our lead right before the break, but very good stuff from Kai Phoenix to make the save and redeem himself after the stinker that he had on that corner. Let's get to the second half, though, boys, and let's finish this one up. Aro. Taylor Rogers skipping through on the right foot. Guaida forced into a wonderful save off the Taylor Rogers right footed strike. Muller on the corner now. Inside Aro. Popov is taking a touch off of his hand off the Vino Aro header. And it's a penalty for Barrow. Debatable. Red Adley standing over now. Going for the top left. Guaita guesses correctly, and it stayed at a perfect height for him to make the save. Moeller looking for the long, ambitious ball to Hins, but Tavares does enough to intercept. But it's not enough time for Crystal Palace to go find an equalizer. And it's a 2-1 win for the Barrow boys to end this episode. A good performance from the boys. Looked strong, stayed composed. After the one chance for Crystal Palace, which they scored on, they had next to nothing in that second half, which was very good composure from the back line. And the midfield did very well today to stay controlled, stay composed. And we get the better of Crystal Palace in this one. That's what we love to see. Well, that will do it here, boys, for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. A uh, interesting time throughout this one. Smashed by Wolves, smash leads, struggle against Swansea, and then put up a good fight against Crystal Palace. I'm looking for a little bit more in the next episode, which will start with that Swansea City third round replay in the FA Cup. But 
we'll get there when we get there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.